What's going on, y'all? It's your boy sitting at the top of the morning. Hope everybody feeling good, feeling great, feeling blessed. Working hard to be successful. All right, y'all. Be sure to subscribe to the video. Hit the notification bell so you be notified when I drop brand new videos. Um, as y'all see, I just put out the video from my shop repair bill, which was crazy. But guess what? Am I mad about it? Nah. Nah. Not mad at all. You know why? Because it costs to be the boss. Period. All right, y'all. So, look. Now, I told y'all in the video that I was going to bring y'all the total, the total, um, how much I was going to be in the hole. So, I did the numbers while I was um, uploading the last video. So, here we go. Y'all ready? The total re the repair cost was $3,832.28. That was the, the repair for the, the Volvo. The hotel cost me $392 for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, for five days. That's not even including ordering Domino's, Steak and Shake, that's not even included in that. Um, so the balance with the repair in the hotel. Let me take this one. The balance between... Um, I'm sorry, y'all. The repair and the hotel. The balance is $4,224.28 so far in the hole. I'm in the red. That's what that means, being in the hole. Negative. Now, my settlement came out yesterday. I only got one trip delivered last week before the truck went in the shop. So, on my check, it's negative seven hundred and fifty-five dollars and sixty-two cent. So, in total, I'm at four thousand nine hundred and seventy-nine dollars and ninety cent. In the hole. In the hole. Practically $5,000 in the hole right now. Like, ugh. Ugh. I'm in the hole right now. Ugh. But guess what? I'll be out of the hole in two weeks. <laughs> Why? Because I know what I'm doing. Because I put money up. Credit card to be paid off in full. Credit card to be paid off in full. Get my points for next. Get my get my uh get my credit points up for next month. Now look, y'all, look, look. When it comes to dealing with, Bobby, what you get in the sleeper? Sorry, y'all. She all up here under the blanket. Um, when it comes to dealing with having an older truck, this is what comes with it. I ain't gonna sugarcoat it. I got an older truck. I wasn't able to put $5,000 up to go get a truck from a dealership, you know, because you're going to hear people out there, oh, save your money. Damn it, I couldn't save no money. I had bills back home. I had other debt. I had other debt that I had to get rid of. I just didn't have it that way. So I had to do it this way. And, hey, you know what? At the end of the day, my path traveled wasn't meant for Somebody else might not be for somebody else. Somebody else's path not might not be my path. Might not be your path. This is a learning. This is all learning. This is a learning process. Me getting this older truck. Guess what? It's guess what it's teaching me. What to look for when I go get the KW. When I go get the KW, I know what to look for. I know what to ask. I know what I. This the Volvo. Is my learning tool. Yes, I dumped a lot of money in it, but it also brought me a lot of money. So I don't sit, y'all watch me, y'all know I don't gloat on the numbers. I want to give y'all what y'all gonna face out here, what y'all gonna deal with out here. Hold on, I need a it's a little nippy up here, man. 
So, I want to bring y'all what y'all going to do with when y'all get out here as drivers, as lease purchase, as owner ops, whatever. This is what you're going to deal with. Put your money up. Because you make a little bit more money don't mean you're supposed to spend it. Like, more money in, less money going out. That's it. Because you make more money, that don't mean you're supposed to spend more money. Put more money up. So, I'm like, okay. So far... I'm on my first trip for the week right here. I got another load. I'm going to go right down the street and go get going back to Indiana. Once I deliver that load, I'm running up to the running up to the yard, jump back in the Volvo, and, and I'm back boogie. I'm getting ready to go home. I'm getting ready to go home in another three weeks. So it's time to ride. My people called me yesterday, say, hey, Sin, the clutch is brand new. I got a brand new clutch. Brand new. Everything. Uh, the owner told me, he said, yo, your clutch was blown. Like, boom. Done. You was done. Done to done. Done to done. <laughs> when it comes to my clutch, the old one, done to done. But for everybody that left me to comment on the last video on how much I spent, I appreciate y'all. Thank you. Because Yo, it, it's 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 not gonna be easy when you want better in life. It's not meant to be easy. Yeah. Okay, I've been in the hotel Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. My people offered me a loaner truck. I turned it down. Why? I got some rest. I got I laid back. I read. I was reading my investment book. You know, and I relaxed. I chilled. The hotel had an indoor pool, a hot tub. I chilled. I, I just relaxed. And while I was in the hotel, when I was getting up and they was calling me, hey, we found something wrong with this. We found this wrong. We found that wrong. This will put you out of commit. This will put you out of service with DOT. Fix it. Pull the swipe the credit card. Go about my business. Thank you. So. I speak to my brother-in-law and he's like, yo, you know, he called me every day or every other day. Hey, how you feeling? And I pause. Know what? I'm feeling wonderful. I'm loving life. I'm proud of myself. I love myself. I love where I'm going in life. I love what I'm accomplishing. And it's on my timeline. I'm not trying to keep up with nobody. I ain't trying to impress nobody. What I'm doing is for me. What I'm doing is for my family. And that's what y'all need to do. Do what you need to do for you. What you need to do for your family. Who cares who's ahead of you? You're not running a race. Run your own race. Period. Hey, some people might be like, yo, I wouldn't have spent all that, that money. I wouldn't have did this. I wouldn't have did it this way. Well, you entitled to your opinion. But that's the way I choose to do it. And at the end of the day, I can I can I can maintain it. I can maintain it. So it is what it is. It is what it is. Let me see if this guy needs this door. No, I think he getting ready to get in the door next to me. But anyway. Um, like I said, I'm in the hole $4,979.90 in the red. Am I mad about it? Nah. Am I stressing it? Nah. Yo, I'm happy where I'm at in life. I got a lot of inner peace. I got a lot of mental peace. I just got peace in my life across the board. I'm reading a lot more. I'm studying a lot more. I'm saving a lot more money. I'm doing better than I where I came from. And at the end of the day, no matter um, 
no matter how big this gets, as I continue to grow to um, continue to grow my business, I'm going to always stay humble. I'm going to always make sure I share the knowledge. You know, I do these so I can educate somebody else. Yo, take my notes, put it with your notes. It's like cooking. You take your mama's seasoning, you blend it with your, you know, you take the seasoning, take a little bit of that seasoning, and take a little bit of that seasoning, and boom, you good to go. You good to go. You got a new seasoning, and it tastes good. And that's what it is. If you really want to be successful, start studying more. Start reading more. So, but let me get up out of this Walmart, and I'll holler at y'all soon. It's your boy Sinister, and I gotta, I think he waiting on me to get out this door, so let me move, but love you guys, stay up, stay positive, write your goals down, and I'll talk to y'all soon, peace.